West Bromwich Albion are a team in England that just bounce between Championship, Premier League and Championship again. There's a reason they've picked up the nickname Boing Boing Baggies for bouncing between the leagues. As today we're going to try and save the Baggies by not only getting them to the Premier League but keeping them there. Although when we stay there we still need a link to the Championship so we're gonna do this by only signing Championship players. And do you guys want kits like this one? This one or even this one. If you do, make sure to check out Soccer Deal Shop. Link in the description. Cheap and affordable replica kits. And if you use MWS in the promo code checkout, you get yourselves 10% off. As of course, the rules are simple. With Carlos Cobran, we can only sign players who are playing in the championship. Of course, teams can get relegated from the Premier League or promoted to League One, and we can use those as well. With the ultimate aim to, of course, stay in the Premier League, get no relegations, and win the UCL as this is the team that we have got to do it with and actually most of these players came from the Premier League as I can't lie I actually do very much like this team especially Connor Townsend ex Grimsby Town but it still could use some shuffling so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna shuffle it round to two strikers that's actually no screw it I'm gonna go with three up front again I did this in the last save the Oxford slash Cambridge if you haven't seen that video I do highly recommend it and we've got a couple of well very decent players it's actually a little bit concerning if you ask me because to get better players than this from the championship it's going to be difficult because of course we're still in that league ourselves and the budget's not going to be big to get the best championship players also got to touch on the age of this squad all our defenders are old our best player on villa he is 33 and even connor townsend himself is hitting 30 yeah we've got a very old squad that could be a problem. So with our 16 million, which actually more than I thought, after contracts, we've got to buy championship players. And that can be anyone from all these teams right here. We've got 24 teams to choose from and 11 players in each team. So let's get signing to go next to an ex-Grimsby Town player. We're bringing in another ex Grimsby Town defender. From Watford to West Brom, Matty Pollock. He got like in the team of the week at the weekend. Beautiful player. Maybe not got the rating just yet that he deserves. Same with this man who we didn't use in our Cardiff save. He was against the rules in the challenge we did there. So Mark McGuinness, welcome from the Bluebirds. As them two, yes, they're two right footers. And yes, they're not as good as Kiprier and Peters, who we've had to drop from the squad. But honestly, I have faith with them. And that's got me thinking, do I take him Villa out and stick Malombi in? He is younger, as it kind of makes sense as we're bringing in a goalkeeper. That definitely makes sense. Palmer's not high enough rated. And for me, he ain't good enough. So £4 million, you know, a lot of money on Michael Cooper from Plymouth. And for once, we've made a signing that is higher rated than the actual player that is in our goal. And I think Palmer's played for Lincoln City before. So that's another reason that he's out the team, as that team looks good to me. For this season in the championship, or this half of the season anyway, because we've still got 9 million, so we could revisit in January if we let ourselves down, as we've got the first game of the season, which is QPR. Come on. We need to beat the hoops. This should be a given. Come on, we've got a good team. Yes, our defense is a little bit weaker and we don't take advantage. Swift missing a penalty. He's an old player out of position who I'm training as a center mid. But hasn't got there yet. So yes, not a great result against QPR, but it is away from home and we have to build on in the remainder of this season. Ooh, and this could be a good save. A very good save because already... We are top of the championship. Top of the tree. Goodbye, Leeds. Goodbye, Leicester. Although Leeds are quite close and Leicester still could catch us. But overall, this is good. This is very good. I mean, Swift's gone to a centre mid and still gone up a rating. So he must have recovered as McGuinness is going up, but he isn't getting played. It's putting Kipre on. Might have to get selling as this squad overall. It does look like it has the quality, but is it better than Leeds? Is is it better than Leicester? I personally don't think so, as our top scorer so far is John Swift. What a swift recovery from missing the penalty, if you pardon the pun, as we've got £10 million, which I am not going to spend. Of course, if we're in the Premier League next year, as it stands, we'll need a lot of money. 
to sign a lot of championship players. As let's keep our fingers tightly crossed, shall we? That team right there has got promoted, even though it doesn't look as strong. I mean, no increase from Daryl DK, who's not been playing. It's been putting Thomas Asante on. I don't like that one bit. Not playing a lot of our young players, as West Bromwich Albion have done the baggies boing boing, going straight to the Premier League in season number one. Yes, we bottled the title, but it's Leeds United anyway. Squeezed in between of Leeds and Leicester, as it is in IRL, as Rotherham beat us in the FA Cup. Don't expect anything. Of course, in season number one in the Cups, we are a championship team anyway. As speaking of championship, I'm going to check who got relegated from the Premier League, as they are the teams in the playoffs. As who can we sign from? Actually, the promoted teams. We can sign from Blackpool and Peterborough, and one of them other four. Exciting to see who wins the playoffs as Burnley, Bournemouth and Luton Town from the Prem. Should be some good players to choose from next year as they are the top scorers we've got to take a note of. As West Bromwich Albion back in the Premier League alongside the teams you can see as before we get started. If you're a fan or unsubscribed of the channel you're currently watching, we are on a race to 25k and please try and help us out. If you hit the like and subscribe, it does mean the world to us as 61 million means the world to West Brom. As also one thing I've took a keen look at is Southampton won the playoffs. Leicester still in the championship. Another team we can rob as we've done a lot of releasing. A lot of these players still will leave the club who are quite old. As maybe for one season we put Kipri ahead of Pollock, we could still do with a defender, a left back and a midfielder. And also maybe a striker as of course we did check the top scorers last season. Some still down there. As some good teams as well. There's Bournemouth to look at, there's Burnley. Oh my days and still Leicester. Oh wow and oh my days. I have literally just been trolled because I saw when looking at Burnley Kobe Minu, but unfortunately for us, he's only on loan from Man United. That is such a shame. Imagine if we managed to get him. I've been trolled, I've been trolled, but I'm not trolling with the signings because Leicester, my friends, sorry, but you're getting rinsed. As first man through our door, it's Keenan Dewsbury Hall that we stole for our central mid slot, and that is a big signing. For only £80 million as well, that feels like a steal, so Leicester... Foxers, you have let yourselves down big time. As we've improved ourselves big time, but we're not done with you yet. Leicester, we're taking Luke Thomas as well. As that team looks now a lot stronger with them two in it, but we could still actually still do with more defenders. As I thought I'd sign my starters last season with McGuinness and Pollock, but... This year, we're getting Jordan Bayer. The amount of money we've been given, it's actually stupidly silly because we're signing another one in Ilya. Zabranyi, Zabanyi. I'm going to just call him Ilya. That's why I said it first time. It's a lot easier as finally we'll make one signing. Not from them teams relegated, Tyrese Dolan. Welcome to the Baggies. I'm happy with that. I am very happy with the team we've built. We've got DK, Malombi, Cooper and Pippa, who aren't over the rating of 75 just yet, but they'll grow there, or at least a couple of them will, hopefully. Like I said, we cannot afford to get relegated like real life when they go up and down, up and down. As Brighton we start with. Ooh, and De Zebri versus Cobaran. This should be a good tester as it's a 3-3 game between two fantastic managers. Right, and Carlos, mate, you have got your team's ratings up, but have you kept West Brom up? Halfway through the year. Let's have a check, shall we? We are in 15th. Only four wins, though. And, of course, a long way still to go. It is Chef United, Southampton, and Fulham rock bottom. Oh, my days, Fulham. They are yet to get a result. I mean, if they get relegated, we do play three strikers and Rodrigo Muniz. I have my eye on you. Of course, I'm thinking very ahead. They could even survive. And hey, we could go down and fail this entire challenge. As our best player is Dewsbury Hall, but our top scorer 
is Josh Meijer. Interesting is that, as we've got three million pounds and that, of course, has to go on contracts. Something I haven't done yet and there's a lot of unhappy faces, so maybe players don't sign up. That could be an issue. And, well, we were very close to failing this challenge, actually. I know we were only 15th last time we checked, but three teams joined on 38 points, surviving just because Chef United can't be good enough. I'll just accept survival at this rate, of course, as Preston beat us in round three of the FA Cup. We're not doing too great, as Brentford beat us in the Carabao, but one thing I noticed is Norwich City made the final. Did they make it out of the championship, though? They didn't. They're in the playoffs, so we could steal some players. As Leicester and Bournemouth are the teams to go up, we can't sign from those clubs. We can't sign from them at the bottom. Ones we can sign from, though, are Derby and Sunderland, who I didn't actually realise got relegated last year. And we already know the three teams that will be in the championship from our league next year as this team, wow, it needs a lot of sorting out. Not a lot of growth. I mean, 280 rated. Whilst we're already in the Prem, our growth should be better than this. As our top scorer was actually Brandon Thomas Asante, which I don't like the fact of. And I don't like this fact that a lot of our players are deciding next year they want no part of the project and there's a couple of decent ones including Connor Townsend, John Swift who's in our team and Thomas Asante who basically kept us in this league. Wow, and in our rebuild job, I'm looking at the teams that were relegated and West Brom, jeez, oh, oh, not West Brom, sorry, Fulham. They were absolutely doomed from the get-go. Only one player that was actually above the rating of 70. As I've checked some teams and I know our improvements, we need to improve Swift, who is leaving, swiftly in a minute. Had to get that joke in. And Pippa, the right back. I've had enough of him, he's getting old and he's not going to improve. As we've been given a decrease to our budget, only £31 million this year. That is not great, especially if we want to push up. I was, I was aiming for Champions League football season number three. And here we go, in the words of Fabrizio Romano. We found a midfielder alongside Dewsbury Hall, who should hopefully boss it. Here in the Premier League, it is the brother of Jude, which is Job Bellingham. What a steal as well. Out of the team, Alex Mower, as this man has already hit the rating of 75. I hadn't really scouted him, but I offered 15 million and maybe that's a good deal, bad deal. I don't really know. Maybe could have got a better deal as our second and final signing is this man right here. Alexandriu Panti. Not only has he got a funny name, but he's come across from the Saints. And I'm going to try and loan him out. So let's be honest, he's not going to start ahead of Pippa, who I'll let run down his contract or we can also sell him. So yeah, I'm going to get him on the loan list. Hopefully goes to the championship and then becomes Prem quality. And the first game of this year is not going to be Brighton like last. It's Arsenal, which is a huge challenge. There's also a hard challenge. It's understanding why panty has gone on loan to Birmingham, who are the rivals. Or one of the rivals. He has got that championship move and hey, we're turning into a feeder club for Birmingham. Pretty sure West Brom fans will not mind that fact, but they won't like the fact we've been beaten by Arsenal. And this is more like it. We've took the gambles and West Bromwich Albion are fifth in the Premier League. I tell you what, I expected a rise in the table, but fifth position, I mean... I'll fully take it. So far, we are acting as that surprise package and maybe it's got something to do with the position changes I've made. Malumbi just won't change to a centre mid. He doesn't want to, but Wallace and Maja centre forward players. And it looks like it's affecting the goal scoring, at least for Josh Maja now, who should score more than Thomas Asante did. As Dewsbury Hall is our highest rated player and the only thing now to do is check how our lone boy's doing. Come on, Panty. He is an over 79 rated because I could see that one, but he's just below it at 77. That's actually quite decent, especially for Birmingham's level. So he's already actually better than Pippa. So yes, as you probably guessed, we brought him back and we're going to put him straight in the team over the Spaniard. As that is the team that needs to get at least Europa League football or Europa Conference. I'll be a bit nicer. And this has gone very well, hasn't it? Because we finished 11th 
somehow bottling everything. As the top four went kind of back to normal with Newcastle sneaking in there. And I'm quite upset. I mean, we finished comfortably in 11th position. Leicester, the closest team, and we stole their best players. They're back at this level as the team's going down. Is Bournemouth again? Burnley again? But this time, Everton. That is interesting. As also a bit interesting is we can sign Barnsley and Rotherham players. Yay. Don't think they're getting our team, though. At the moment, if I'm honest with you, as Nottingham Forest beat us in the FA Cup and Leicester City, that team I just mentioned, in the Carabao Cup. Wow, our cup run is horrendous. That's not only in this save, that's spanning over a few saves as our team right now I mean, the ratings are quite decent. Only one below 80, but I can see Wallace as 80 himself. And he's 32 years old. If Everton have any decent strikers going at the moment, I wouldn't mind looking at them and getting a decent budget. And yes, as you can see, Wallace is one of the only players, apart from the left-hand side and keeper, that's not going to call up. Oh my days, and how have I just blanked the fact that he's now a 79 rated First time I've seen a player go down in a while. As has our budget. No, it has finally gone up. We have £47 million to spend. And this season, we've already got a very good team. So we just need a few quality additions to make us continental worthy. As I never actually checked who got promoted last year. It looks like Sheffield United again. Norwich. Okay, understandable. And Fulham have recovered from their horrendous season. Literally, they had no decent players. So they've done well to come back. And of course, you may think there's one team I have to look at and that is what I'm doing. But Everton strikers. I mean, Beto's not too great at 28. And Neil Mopé not too good. Yannick Eduardo's too young to grow into a good player. That's what I meant to say. As Cristencio Somerville, though, if we could change him to a winger, this man could be very good. Left wing, play him just a little off left forward to make sure he fits in our team. As that is what we're going to do. We brought him in for 30 million, giving us 17 million that I might save for January. A very good deal on this man. Oh, no, it was actually 34, plus the wages and all. Oh, I haven't done contracts already. So yeah, now I've done them. We probably won't get any more players. And Somerville actually already looks fine at right forward. Or left forward, I don't know my lefts and rights. I'm left-handed. Come on, Max, you should definitely know that. As one thing I do know is we should have a better season. And with Sheffield United to start with, we should have a battering. But before, to make sure we do get this right, Somerville can change his position. And there he is, a centre forward. Shows how on point we were with that signing. It only took him three weeks. As let's get a result against Sheffield United. Beaten by the Blades. In mean, a season, we need to improve. And we've just got to hope it gets better. Because that is is humiliating. Oh my, and I just don't understand it. West Bromwich Albion failing miserably. With the players that we've signed, we should be a lot better than one point off bitter rivals Wolverhampton Wanderers. Honestly, where's it going wrong? How much money have we got? We've got 7 million. That may have to get spent as our best rated player is 87 Dewsbury Hall and still he cannot carry us. So where can we improve? I mean, Somerville cost a lot and he's got a plus one, hoping for better. And although I didn't want to do it, I just think a bench player maybe is the way forward. So Neil Mopé, if we deep it, he's a lot better than Cleary, who's clearly not grown how we wanted him to. So Mopé on the bench, he's got that arrogance. Plus, he's already got a link to Somerville from Everton. And it is an improvement in the second half of the season, but the baggy still bounced to seventh. It puts us in limbo, really. Is that Europa League? Is that conference? Me thinks it may be. Have we won a trophy, though, to try and get us in it? Of course we haven't. I'm already flicking through because I know we're not in the final. Has Chelsea beat us in the FA Cup? Fair enough. That is Chelsea. Did we win the Carabao Cup? Brighton did. I mean, if Brighton are winning it, why can't we? As that is the team. It's stopping growth in some players like Thomas and Malumbi. And I've never seen a player in my life hit the deck with mods on like Wallace. The decrease shouldn't be that big as our best players now is Dewsbury Hall and also Daryl DK. He's doing very well as one player I expected a lot more from is Joe Bellingham. As if it isn't Champions League, at least be a Champions League budget. 58 million 
it is creeping back up as it's not really what we wanted, but are we in Europe? Yes, we are, Conference League, and we're expected to win it. I mean, I can't lie, I had expect us to win it too. As improvements, maybe we could go for fullbacks or anywhere in the defense, even CDM's not great. I mean, even Bellingham, I just can't tell you how much he's disappointed me. Just a big bit of a shock as I haven't checked the championship. I didn't check the relegated teams but I can see some surprises. Southampton still in there. We've got Bournemouth and Burnley back there but we've got Brentford and Leeds United. Two good clubs that of course I could rob for players so championship flicked on. Let's see if we can. As there's some decent players around here. Oh my days, Morgan's Gibbs White. But we need players that, well, will fit in our team as well. That's right, I don't care if I'm ruining the surprise or whatever, but Leeds United's team stacked and they've got Jonathan David. Now I know we've got DK, we've got Somerville, we've got the lot, but Jonathan David, seriously, he's such a player. Oh my days though, it's broken down. I mean, we offered decent money, but you can see that's a backup as I know he's 33 year old, but Zhao Cancelo, I'm surprised Leeds were relegated. They've got brilliant players. As yes, we've gone and done it. Zhao Cancelo on the treadmill, panty in the team, might be crapping his panties. Because with this man in the squad and the quality he brings, we may only get one season out of him, but what a season it may be. As if you thought he'd be the final signing, you are completely wrong. Because we've got a backup defender in Nathan Collins from Brentford. Our backup players aren't great, but our backup defenders are. And the defender in the team, Zhao Cancelo, well, he should carry us a bit. Should be a big boost as Coventry are our first game. Now, them in the Premier League, a bit of a surprise as can we get a result? We do, you know, Somerville with the goal. Donald DK and Thomas, nice in the league. As no offence to Cobb City fans, but if we lost that, it would have been a catastrophe. As I conference league group, Porta Montiense, Wolfsburger and Luzerne. And we have got to be above Europa League places. Well, well, we're in the top one. I can kind of deal with that. We're only two points off Spurs in this division as Brighton Hove Albion has sat top of the tree. I was confused last year when they won the FA Cup, but now I know how good they are and I know how good we are. Dewsbury Hall still just one rating off that 90, but what a team we've built. Very high rated. I mean, look at them now. I mean, Daryl DK as well. He has just come under the radar. Same with Michael Cooper. I knew his rating was coming up a bit as one player I almost doubted, Joe Bellingham. Well, I did doubt, but now he's coming good. He's only 22 as well as... Don't tell me we're out. Oh, oh my days, I'm looking at the preliminary round. What am I doing? We are through and we didn't have the easiest of times, but we saw top of the table and that's all you need to do. Jeez, and come end of the season, we were one point in Champions League places and Brighton Hove Albion. Just got a clap. Wow, they have done an amazing job finishing top of the Premier League. Ahead of Spurs and City, as it could have been us. And it could have been us in the FA Cup, because we got to round five before we were beaten by Brentford, who we literally took the best player from. Mental Leeds United in the Carabao. I can't believe how that's worked out. The two clubs we signed players from in the summer as we don't even reach the Conference League final. I'm giving up. We lost to Sevilla 4-3 and that is just disappointing. Oh my days. And we even beat Leverkusen. As that proves to be fair that we can beat the big teams with that team ourselves that has to keep on playing good. <laughs> And now we're in the Champions League, only signing from the championship, and well, there's two decent teams stuck down there. Everton have now been joined by Crystal Palace, which are the two clubs that are probably going to give us our best chance of players. Surprised how Luton's rotted. They had no decent players when I checked, and we definitely have the money to sign. £141 million, pounds. it's going to be bench players, and... Maybe just a starter. As in the team, well, Jao Cancelo's going down a bit, but he's still at 84 rated. I don't know. I don't see us getting a first team or out of the championship unless Crystal Palace or Everton had a real world beater. As I'm not going to mess about, I'm going to bring my backup brigade in, and that is all it is. Yes, 
Only backup players. This man's the one who probably pushes the first team player in Malumbi, Dominguez, for 24 million. He's come from Burnley as Malpe's replacement on our bench. is going to be Fabio Silva. You just know in the future somehow he'll get stuck in the championship in real life as Leighton Clarkson from, I don't know who, Crystal Palace. That's it. I completely forgot for a minute there. And then we'll just get a backup keeper in. And then I think we set. As here he is, Sol Brinny boy from Middlesbrough, I mean, it's okay. He's only going to sit on the bench. As that's a lot better, sure, we've still got Dolan on there. And one change I'm going to make, Cancelo's gone down again. So Panty in the team, because he can still grow and this team needs to grow. Maybe it could win the Premier League. And here we go. We've got Leicester City to start off with. Can we just do what Brighton did? They've done it. And that just gives you that little bit of faith. But Joe Bellingham, you know, saves us a point. That is poor is that, lads. I don't think it's good anyway. But we've got our Champions League group. That's the overall thing. As we aim to beat Juve, Leipzig and Bodo Glimt in what is definitely a group of death. And I'm quite excited to see if we made it out alive as this is different. We've got a semi-final of the Carabao Cup or two semi-finals. I always get that point wrong, but still, League, Champions League more importantly. How have we done in this or how are we doing in this? We had two points off City in what is a congested league. Nothing to be disheartened about as long as we get through in the Champs League, which I'm going to have to click now. I cannot take it. Don't be out. We are through. We've got Napoli. That is a decent draw as well for the round of 16. Sure, there's teams, of course, that I would have rather had as we finish second on joint points with Juventus. Ha, <laughs> and they drew Barcelona. That is lucky from us as we've got 290 rated in Dusby Hall and Meijer. But as I'm saying that, I've of course realised we've got Cooper in goal, who's 90 rated as well. This team is going phenomenally. Defence could be better, as all oh my days, by the time we reach Napoli, all our front three are above 90 rated. That is very tasty, and we win our first game, including a goal scored by Fabio Silva. That is one I didn't expect as the second leg 2-1. We have 1-4-2 over Napoli on aggregate, which will see us get a game against Atleti in the next round. Interesting, you know? I think we can do this. Come on, lads. Atleti will be good. 2-2 draw is okay for the time being. But we've got to be better as we do win at the Wanda Metropolitano, if that's the name of the stadium. Probably got it wrong like I get every name wrong. I'm honestly shocking with names. Shocking. I cannot really help. It's just me as we've got Real Madrid from Atleti to now the other side of the capital. Bellingham brothers are going to be against each other, but it's Dewsbury Hall, the other midfielder that comes out on top. Gets in there, lads. 5-1 overall against Real Madrid and even Tyler Dolan scoring. Or it's Tyrese Dolan, isn't it? I don't know what his name is, but that strength on the bench has definitely helped the strength in the team. Fantastic result that, as we're going to play the San Siro next in Italy against Barca, which is going to be our final. Interesting stuff, as in the Premier League we fell off. 17 draws. What probably cost us the title? That many draws isn't good enough, but of course, we have finally broke our hoodoo and won the FA Cup. Did we win the Carabao? Oh no, we were beaten by Chelsea, as we must have been, yes. 6-2 on aggregate. That's a bit of a harmful one, as this team, though, isn't. Look at the players that we have. A 93 Dewsbury Hall, as KDH, along with MC and JM and CS, need to prove themselves in the UCL. As here we go. Barcelona, the culprit, that are going to get beaten and slain by the baggies. As we've avoided the bounce, as we were desperate to do so. So come on, lads, baggies. Don't let us down, please. We've come so far, but no Okafor. Oh, my. Oh, my days. Right, Barcelona have took a lead straight away. That is not something I expected. I mean, yep, is the Austrian or the Swiss player who just, he literally cut the defense open and just had to hammer it low for one nil Barca. It was even our kickoff at the start of this game. So now we are lagging behind. 
Come on, baggies, pull it out. Pull it out of the bag, as here's Christian So Somerville. He's a round one defender. Can he get his level straight away? He should have done, as we've still kept the ball here, though. Jude Bellingham against his brother's rivals. Can't pass. And great. Now they're going to come at us once more, and that is a brilliant save. Cooper, but wake up, lads. Wake up. As... Don't tell me they give a free kick. What did they give a free kick for? Good job they've missed. They literally got their shot off. How is that fair in any way? I mean, Barcelona paying refs. Now they're paying UCL refs as that is a good ball through. Joe Bellingham, you know, and he's been caught by Pavlovic. That is so poor from Joe. We have got to be better as we've got in front of Araujo. And Josh Meijer rifles it in the top corner. And that is the baggies back level. A brilliant goal from Josh Meijer. And he's just literally leapt upon as this is a class finish. Top corner. Wow, no chance for the goalkeeper. If it's Ter Stegen or not. We are level against Barca. Carlos Cobran. He likes playing Spanish clubs, does the Spanish manager. Fonzie Davis with the pass through. And Ferran Torres. Well, I think we just got a tackling in the end. And the corner ball comes in. Oh, my days. He almost scored again. That was a close one. As it's very close at the halfway stage. Still one apiece. And Moyano running down the wing with the ball right there. Jason Malumbi. Good tackle. Come on. Second half, we win this. We've got to be doing that anyway, as Josh Meiser, the best player in this game. He's got Daryl DK in the box. He's going to keep on going, and now he's going to pull it back. Look for DK, who gets the header in, and how that's trickled in, I will never know. Daryl DK with the goal straight away. The big, strong man up front for the baggies, and look at this cut inside. Brilliant cross, and defender and keeper collectively have to do better. 2-1 West Brom. Huge goal and don't let them do it to us. Good save, Cooper. That was Ansu Fati who's just come off the bench. Just close your man down as Dewsbury Hall right here. He's going to give it out wide into Panty. That's a very good one too. So we've got to look after this. Come on, we know Barcelona are good at making chances as Fonzie Davis, Ansu Fati... He's laid it off to Malumbi. I'll take that all day long as Joe Bellingham across the middle into Dewsbury Hall. Now, need to get going again. This is Panty with the ball. Daryl DK near the box. We'll just try and dink it into him. And he doesn't win his header. But still, we need to keep on going here. Pedri with the shot. And Ferran Torres with the opening goal. He doesn't take the shot. Headed away from Panty. DK with a clutch away. And Meijer to whack the ball. As that kick right there from our absolute goal up front make sure that the baggies win the champions league stupendously nice little save this one with the baggies and not to forget we could only sign players from the championship and with a little bit of help from leicester everton leeds for example with christencio somerville don't forget burnley we've managed to do this saves if you want to see your club go through the exact same thing comment them down below and don't forget to like and subscribe and it may be the next team that you've seen done on this channel.